All right, today we're gonna to learn how to safely raise and lower a batten. As you can see, we have a lot of different line sets here at Maryvale. They have different things hung on them, curtains, lights, some of them are just empty pipes. So they're all gonna weigh differently. Uh, and you can see, I, today I'm gonna to raise, or I'm gonna lower a, the first electric. And you can see everything should be clearly labeled. And that's gonna be important later on for what you say when you're raising or lowering a batten. Now, this is, you can see this is a lot of weight here because we have a lights on it, we have a lot of electrical equipment on it, and, but with the counterweight system, the balance is going to allow us to do this pretty easily uh, without having to be strong enough to actually lift all this weight. So, always, always, always we're worried about safety. This is the most dangerous thing you can do in the theater, is, is lower one of these bats. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to check and make sure no one is below the batten that I'm going to lower. And I can see this is just straight over this way so I can see no one is on the stage. Now when we get further back in our line sets, some of them don't necessarily line up with the pulley system, with the rope. So once I've seen everything is clear, I have to shout out something to let everybody on stage know that I'm going to lower a bat. So I'm going to say, first electric and then I'm going to say coming in but then I'm going to use my outside voice and then I'm going to wait for anybody that's on stage to say okay that lets me know that they understand that something is going to be moving over their head so I say first electric coming in okay and I hear the okay now the next thing I do is I pull the hand line towards me and I take the rope lock off and now with one hand here I'm ready to pull that handbrake down. Now this is the point where I want to still pay attention to what's going on here and what's going on on the stage. I'm just going to hand over hand pull on this rope. It is a, it is a little hard to pull because it is so much weight but you can see we're pretty balanced. It's not wanting to come crashing down if I let it go, it's, we're pretty even right now. So I'm going to just continue to pull hand over hand on the rope, and I'm watching it come down, make sure it's not hitting anything, and then when I get it to the height that I want, that I can work with it, I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna put the handbrake back on, and I'm gonna reattach the rope lock. I have to do this before I step out to work on my electric, because if I don't, and I take a light off, then this would become heavier and want to come crashing down. Now I've done what I needed to with the electric and I'm ready to raise it back up. So it's the same process, but in reverse. I'm still gonna check, make sure no one is underneath the pipe and I'm gonna say, first electric, only this time I'm gonna reverse it. Instead of saying coming in, I'm gonna say going out. But I'm still gonna wait for the okay. First electric, going out. Okay. Again, I take my rope lock off, I pull down my handbrake, only this time I'm pulling on the other rope. Now I don't wanna pull up on this rope because if it's out of control, I don't really have any control of the line set. So I'm gonna pull this out towards me and I, what I don't want to do is I don't want to stick anything in here under all that weight that's coming down. That's why I'm going to pull this rope out. So I'm going to pull this down and once I get enough of that cable coming up and over, it's going to go pretty easy. So then I can switch to this rope to make sure it doesn't come too fast. If it's not coming down, once I can reach it, I can go ahead and pull on the weight. What we don't want is we don't want this weight to come slamming down because it's dangerous, it shakes everything out there, something could fall off. And also, with our lights, if it comes crashing down, that can affect our, our lamps inside. So I put my handbrake back up, put my rope block back on, and there you have it. You've safely lowered and raised a batten in the counterweight system.